leaders hoping the preparations made earlier in the day will keep families safe as everyone heads to bed. WDSC reporter Eli Brand is live at 10 now after surveying possible storm damage in Orleans Parish as well as the steps people took in the surrounding areas. Eli. Yeah, there was an entire building collapse over on St. Philip Street as far as the preparations going on here in New Orleans. You can see people already taking advantage of me, advantage of this neutral ground parking rule. A lot of people parking here in Mid City on that neutral ground over in St. Tammany and in Jefferson parishes. They're also preparing to help people get ready for this potential severe weather overnight. Here is a video of viewers ring camera captured of a home on St. Philip Street moments before it potentially collapsed due to high wind according to the NOFD. While that collapse was not caught on camera, the aftermath was. NOFD say it was an abandoned home and that no one was inside when the collapse happened. Olivia Labrador lives across the street. She says she saw it all go down. Right before that, I mean, there was some thunder and some lightning, and then, you know, next thing you know, the building just fell straight, thank goodness, down, no one else was out there. But two minutes prior, there was a car parked right there. Labrador says her toddler was woken up from a nap by the crash and that the home has been an issue since she says it was abandoned during Hurricane Katrina back in 2005. As more weather approaches, the Metro neutral ground parking oh, is permitted in New Orleans. So today because of the storm. In Jefferson Parish, a storm shelter is open for those that need it at the Terrytown Playground at 641 Heritage Avenue in Terrytown. Nothing but shelter is being provided though, so if you do go, bring food and water. We still have over 120 families living in trailers since Hurricane Ida, and we know those trailers are not a safe place for people to be in this storm, and so we want to provide this opportunity to anyone who does not feel comfortable at home. As for St. Tammany Parish, sandbags were provided at noon in multiple locations for people who wanted them. St. Tammany also says they have crews on standby ready to help if they are needed. As for Labrador, she says she just hopes nothing like what she saw earlier today happens overnight. It's mounting because we have no drainage in this area right here for some reason on this block and these houses, a lot of them are still in peril from Katrina. You know, a lot of them are still not standing very well. So being in a two story home with a child is definitely nerve wracking. And Paris leaders wanted to remind you if possible overnight, do not travel, stay home and also make sure you're keeping your cell phone charged. Reporting live in New Orleans, Eli Brandt, WDSU News.